Hello and welcome to this episode of T Tech. On today's episode, we're going to be creating a bootable USB to install NetBSD with. I do hope you enjoy it, and let's get into it. Hello and welcome to this episode of T Tech. So, on today's episode, we're creating a bootable USB with NetBSD. So, I've already went out here and I downloaded the NetBSD image for AMD64 and it is the image that's meant to be put on a USB stick. Now do remember if you have a computer about 2015 or newer you want to download the one for UEFI not just the traditional BIOS. But anyway with both of those images we want to first use GunZip minus D for decompress and we want to hit enter on that and that will decompress into the IMG file. So I'll pick up uh, with you when that finishes. Okay, so now we have our IMG file. The next thing you want to do is get a USB that is about two gigabytes in size. And after you plug that in, you want to run sudo fdisk dash L. And in this case, slash dev slash, let me get it highlighted, slash dev slash sdb is the USB that I want to put this image on. And very important, you want to put it on the entire disk. You don't want to put a number after the disk name. Okay? So you see that in a second here. How we're going to put this on there is we're going to use dd to do this. So we're going to use sudo dd. Now what we want to do with this command is take information and put it somewhere. Okay? So the input file is the information we want to put uh, a certain place. So the NetBSD IMG is that information in this case. Make sure it's the IMG file at this point, not the GZ. And uh, where do we want to put it? We want to put that on our USB stick. So in our case, it's slash dev slash sdb. Now what I was saying, don't put a number after this. If you put a number after this, it will not boot correctly in your computer. So use the entire drive. Now yours may be different uh, letters, but just make sure you're using the correct drive. Now you want to use byte size equals 512k. Like so, that makes it copy quicker. And we're going to use status equals progress. Now after this, do make sure you don't have anything backwards for some reason. And make sure you have the right disk. So we've taken those precautions, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to pause this, and I'll be back in... Okay, our copy just finished. Now the one thing you may see is something called an input-output error, where it couldn't write the information. If you see that, the things you want to check, the first thing is redownload the image. Okay, you want to make sure it's not corrupted for some reason. But after that, check your USB stick. So try a different uh, USB. And by trying a different USB, well, one, try the USB in a different computer. See if that works, if you have that available. If you don't, try another USB stick in the same computer. In doing that, you'll also rule out problems with your USB port as well. Now, I will say... Um, this will seem to freeze, at least in Linux, it has to flush out the cache, the, the buffers basically, and that will make it seem to freeze even though it is still working in the background. If that happens, look at your USB and if it has an activity light, if it's flashing, just be patient. Don't pull it out, otherwise it will mess everything up. Then you'll have to start over again because it will be corrupted. But with all that, now you should be able to put this in your computer, reboot, and install NetBSD. So, as always, I'm Tyler with T-Tech, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, and have a very nice day.